Lesson 2.6, Number Names, Three Digits in Word Form. We can write three-digit numbers by using words. First, we use words to write the hundreds. Then we look at the tens digit and the ones digit together and write the words for that two-digit number. Back in video 1.5, we learned about using hyphens for two-digit numbers. So remember, all two-digit numbers that end with a one through a nine, use a hyphen. And we learned in video 1.8, to find missing numbers, we look at the numbers before them, after them, above them, or below them. And that will help us find the missing number. And this chart counts on by one. We know the next number that's missing here must be a three. We go one, two, three, four. And we could find all the other numbers by using the numbers before them, after them, above them, and below them. We can write the missing numbers in the chart, then find and circle the word form of these numbers. The chart is counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Do you know what goes next? It would be 12. The numbers are counting on by one. We can look at the number before the missing number and know what to write in the space. We have 18. The next number would be 19. This is a missing number. Before it is a 26. It's counting on by one. So the next number would be 27. Here's a missing number. The number before it is 32. Do you know what the next number is? If you said 33, you're right. And what about this last one? 46, 47. The numbers above it all end with an eight. It must be 48. Now we need to circle the word form of these numbers. We have 12, 19, 27, 33, and 48. Do you see those numbers in word form? Do you see the number 12 over here? There it is, and we circle it. Do you see the number 19 in word form? There it is. Do you see the number 27? in word form? There it is. Do you see the number 33 in word form? There it is down here. And do you see the number 48 in word form? There it is. Make sure you find the correct number that was missing and then look for it the way you would say it. We say the number and look for the words. We can use words to write three digit numbers. First, we look at the hundreds digit. Then we look at the tens digit and the ones digit together. We have a three in the hundreds place, that's 300. We have a two in the tens place, a seven in the ones place, together, that is 27. It needs a hyphen because it ends with a number in the ones place that is a one through a nine. Here, we need to write the number using words. We look at the number in the hundreds place, we have 300. We look at the digit in the tens place and ones place together. I see 59. We use a hyphen because it ends with a nine. Here we need to write the number. We have 720 
six. There's a seven in the hundreds place. And we have 26. 726. Here we need to circle the correct way to write the number in word form. This is our three digit number. What is the correct way to write it in word form? Do you know? If you said this one, you were right. This one is not correct because it didn't write the word hundred. This one's not correct because it's got the word and in it. And this one's not correct because they didn't put these two digits together in the tens and ones place for the words 17. They put just 517 and it's missing the word hundred, isn't it? And we learned back in video 2.2 when reading and writing whole numbers, those are counting numbers, we do not use the word and. We use and for decimal points that you're going to learn about in fourth grade or for money that we're going to learn later on in second grade. Here we have a riddle. And the riddle says, I am a three digit number that has six in my hundreds place. I have a lesser digit in my tens place than in my ones place. The sum of my digits is eight. So we think we know there are six hundreds. It told us there's a six in the hundreds place. So we know there's a six there. The tens digit is less than the ones digit. I have a lesser digit in my tens place than my ones place. And it tells us the sum of my digits is eight. If the digits were add-ends, the sum would be eight. And we think of the possibilities. We have a six in the hundreds place, so that would be a six. And to get eight, we could do plus two plus zero. That would equal eight. We could do six plus one plus one. That would equal eight. Or six plus zero plus two. But it told us that I have a lesser digit in my tens place than my ones place. Well, this is more tens than ones if they were add ends. So the first one can't be it. And this one, the tens and the ones digits are the same. So it can't be that one. It must be six plus zero plus two. That means six in the hundreds, zero in the tens, and two in the ones. That way, if we added up the digits of the place value, it would equal eight. So that one was a little tricky because you wouldn't normally think of adding up the digits to equal something for something to be a sum. We need to write the number using words. The number is 602, and we can write 602 in words. There are no tens, so we just write 602. Let's try some higher order thinking skills. It says Mr. Lee sold 346 apples. We need to circle all the ways to write this number. Do you see ways we can write this number? We need to circle all of them. Is this one of the ways? 346. 364. No, that's not right. The tens and the ones are in the wrong place. So it's not this one. How about this one? 300. 46. 346. Yes, that's one of the ways. Can we write it as 3 plus 4 plus 6? No, that would not be one of the ways. Don't get confused with the riddle we just did. Would this be the right way? 300 plus 40 plus 6? 
we have three hundreds plus four tens plus six ones. Yes, that works. And this one, would that be a way to write the number? Three hundreds, four tens, six ones? If you said yes, you're right. We can write it as a three-digit number in standard form. We can write it in expanded form. And we can write it as hundreds, tens, and ones. There are 432 students at a school. Write this number using words. We start with the hundreds place and we write 400. We look at the tens place and the ones place and put them together. We have 32. We use a hyphen in 32 because it ends with a two. Now we need to show the number in two other ways. We can show it in a place value chart. We can show it as four hundreds, three tens, two ones. And we can write it in expanded form. Four hundred plus thirty plus two. Four hundred thirty-two. So remember, as you're writing these as two-digit numbers for the tens and ones, that you're going to need a hyphen. If it ends with a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. And remember, the first thing we do is look at the hundreds digit, and we write that amount with the word hundred. And then we look at the tens and ones digits together and write that number. Our next lesson, 2.7, we're going to talk about the different forms of numbers. We're going to talk about three ways to write a three-digit number. I hope I'll see you there, and I hope you're doing very well. Bye.